I'm Kevin Elizabeth, a bridal boutique owner and wedding photographer based in San Diego. And today I'm going to be talking about which parts of the wedding day that you are going to be wearing your veil for. So some people love veils, some people hate them. I do like them and I definitely find that they're very beautiful. They give you something to play with for your photos. They're a nice accessory. Um, but if you don't like veils, then I guess skip this video. <laughs> but if you do plan on wearing a veil, then this video should be helpful for you to figure out when you should be wearing your veil. Now there's no right or wrong way to wearing your veil. There's definitely not some sort of traditional pathway for when you're supposed to wear your veil for the wedding day. But I will say that definitely wear it for the ceremony. Um, I would say that if you're buying a veil and you're not wearing it for the ceremony, that would definitely be a very weird thing to do because what would be the point? Um, most brides, I would say probably 99.9% .9 of brides who have a veil are wearing it for the ceremony. Now for other parts of the day, that is going to be really up to you. It depends on how much of your photos you want to be shown wearing your veil. Now a lot of brides spend a lot of money on their veil. Uh, if veils could be anywhere from borrowed to over thousands of dollars. You could buy like a several thousand dollar veil depending on the designer of the veil. So veils can definitely be very expensive. So maybe you wanna get your money's worth and wear it as much as possible. So for brides who are having a first look, I'll kind of split this into first look brides and not first look brides. A first look means that you are seeing your significant other before the ceremony. So a lot of brides will choose whether or not to wear their veil for the first look. I would say that most of my brides decide not to put the veil in for the first look itself just because it can be a lot to fuss with. You're walking over to the groom or the bride and then you're like showing them your attire and then we're taking some portraits. And then at some point between um, then and the ceremony, maybe the bride decides to put in the veil or maybe the bride just decides to put the veil in right before the ceremony. And then we get portraits of her in the veil in the ceremony. And then after the ceremony, maybe we get some sunset portraits with the veil or right after the ceremony, we take a couple pictures with the veil. Or maybe the bride's just like, hey, I just wanna have pictures of me wearing the veil during the ceremony and then I'm gonna take it right out after the ceremony ceremony and that's all I really want. But if you're somebody who wants to maximize on photos with the veil, then you can put it in either right before the first look or right after the first look once you've had your little first look moment. And then you get as many pictures with your wedding party and your family pictures and then the ceremony and then you take it out after the, the ceremony is over. So that's what you can do. So it's really all dependent on how many pictures you want to be shown in your veil. So if you are not having a first look, typically what the bride will do is get ready and then go to the ceremony. So you're gonna put it in right before the ceremony. But maybe you are having some wedding party photos with just your bridesmaids before the ceremony. So you'll wanna put it in before that if you're trying to maximize those photos with the veil. Or if you're just basically getting ready and going straight into the ceremony with no formal photos beforehand, put it in right before the ceremony. If you are driving to your ceremony location, I would suggest waiting until you get to the ceremony location to put it in so that you're not riding in the car with it, not worrying about sitting on it or crumpling it up to put it in your lap. It can just be a lot to deal with because it's just, uh, especially if it's a longer veil. So wait until you get to your ceremony site to put it in. So if you don't do any formal portraits before your ceremony and then you put it in for your ceremony, Make sure that you are deciding whether or not you wanna keep it for all of your formal photos after your ceremony. So your wedding party, so bridesmaids, groomsmen, and then your family photos. So if you wanna keep it for those photos, then definitely keep it in, unless you don't care about wearing the veil in those photos, in which case you can take it out once the ceremony's done and be done with it. It really comes down to how many photos you want to be wearing this veil in. And then in terms of when to take it out, just in general, most brides, I would say probably again, 99.9% .9 of brides are removing the veil at some point during cocktail hour and do not wear it during the reception. I in, I've probably photographed a hundred weddings at this point. I've lost count. I have it written down somewhere, I think. 
I have never seen a bride wear the veil to her actual reception. Like once cocktail is over and that reception officially starts, I have never myself seen a bride wear a veil to her reception, ever. That's not to say that you can't do it, but especially if you have a long veil, that is not going to work when you're dancing. You are gonna be tripping on it, stepping on it. I don't think people bustle veils, so that's not gonna work. If you have a short veil, you could maybe keep it in if you wanted to wear it then. That could probably work, but I have never seen it done. That's not to say you can't do it, but it's just really not done. You can totally go for it. If you wanna wear your short veil all day long, go for it. But if you have a long veil, I would highly discourage you from trying to wear it during your reception because it will get stepped on, it will get pulled out of your hair, it will get yanked on. I've seen that actually happen during the ceremony. If people actually accidentally step on it, like during portraits or something, it pulls the bride's hair back, especially if it's in there really well or just gets pulled out of the hair, that can happen. So if you have a long veil, I'm gonna definitely say for that, don't wear it during your reception. But if you have a shorter veil, you could wear it during the reception, but you're gonna be like one of the very few brides, probably at least in American culture in the United States, to be wearing your veil during the reception. It's just gonna be really unusual. But anyways, guys, I hope this was helpful. If you do have a veil, give it to your photographer at the beginning of the day. They might want to use it in their little detail photos. It could be really pretty to have photographed then. Um, definitely maximize the amount of photos you're getting it in, especially if you invested heavily in it. You want to make sure that it's photographed as much as possible. Probably I would at least. I didn't have a veil because my dress was blue and colorful and I couldn't think of a veil that would make sense for it. It was also really busy, had a lot going on, so I didn't feel like a veil would be a appropriate for it. It would have been just way too much. I also had a very busy, colorful bouquet, so there would just be way too much going on. So for me, a veil would not have worked with my dress, but I do find them to be really beautiful. And I don't think they have to be like tied to the old traditional meaning of covering your face with a blusher. You can totally still have a blusher. I would say most brides these days do not have a blusher, which a blusher is the piece that covers your face it's lifted once you're at the front of the aisle and then you get exposed to everybody. That's what a blusher is. Um, so most brides these days do not have a blusher, I would say, at least in American culture. Um, they just have the veil that goes in the back part of the piece. So I don't find that they're as like tied to the traditional roots of covering the bride's face so nobody can see what she looks like anymore. So if you're kind of anti-veil for that reason, I feel like that reason is kind of going away and they've just become more of an accessory statement these days and more like current culture. So anyways, I find them really beautiful. So if you're on the fence about a veil, maybe go ahead and get one and just have some in some photos for fun. You can do a lot of fun, really pretty pictures of the veils of them flowing in the wind or kind of like underneath them. It can be really pretty. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and now you get to figure out how much you want to wear your own veil for your wedding. See you guys next week. Bye.